comes the Green Hornet now. The armored car. Come on. takes care of the Hornet. Now to get those ballots out of that wreck and destroy them. Scram out of here, quick! You hurt badly? No. Those armored cars are built for protection. The police. Good. They'll take the ballots in the armored car and keep them until the court order to impound them comes through. Every move we make is blocked by the Green Hornet. Better get in touch with Max Gregory and tell him to take it easy. If the Hornet discovers he's sending munitions out of the country, we'll have the G-men on us, as well as the police and the Hornet. Better get Max on the phone. Yes? Max Gregory speaking. All right, put him on. Gregory, you better get that last shipment of munitions off your hands at once. Young Roberts is making things difficult. I was about to go and see him. Perhaps you could suggest some way of putting on pressure. I'll take care of it. He's got a warehouse at 39th and Grove, hasn't he? With the new mayor in office, we got the hoodlums on the run. Maybe now he can take a little time off and run down the Green Hornet. <laughs> well, that's a pretty large order, isn't it, Michael? What do you want me to do, give you six months vacation with pay or something? Six months, is it? Give me six days and I'll run the spalpeen to earth. <laughs> His brother was killed by the racketeers? Yeah. Well, do you think the same gang maybe started this fire? Very likely. You go in there and find out all you can about who did start that fire. I'm going to John's office. Yes? This is John Roberts. You say you've got the fire under control? You don't know how it started. All right, I'll have the insurance people come down. Thanks. Britt Reed, gosh, am I glad to see you. Hello, John. I overheard your phone conversation. So that fire did cause you considerable damage. Yes, of course, my insurance will cover the actual loss. But I'll lose a lot of important customers and, well... Spell it. That fire wasn't accidental. Someone's trying to drive me in the line, same as they did Charles. What's the racket? Well, it's this way. I've kept this business right up to the standard that Charles set. As you know, we do a lot of shipping by rails in carload lots. Well, the other day, a fellow came in and demanded that I allow him to ship under my bill of lading. Wanted to commandeer my space. What do you mean? Well, if I was sending two cars, he'd take over one. Wouldn't tell me who he was or what he was shipping, but he made it clear that I'd have trouble if I refused. Hmm. So that fire was the result of your refusal? I'm sure of it. Well, there's been a series of smaller attacks. 
breakdown of trucks, attacks on my drivers. Have you notified the police? No. You remember what happened to Charles when he went to the police. Very well done, Dean. This fire will bring young Mr. Roberts to terms. I have one more little surprise for him, down at the harbor. Don't even talk, Turkey. Very good. I'll talk again to Roberts tomorrow. Better not. He knows you now and might spring something. Let me handle it. All right. All right, John, you talk to him out here. And put Jenks in the other room so he can hear what he has to say. I sure appreciate this, Fred. Well, we've got to rid this city of those crooks. See you later. So long, Brent. He's on his way up now. Better get inside. What can I do for you? You're Roberts, huh? That's right. What do you want? Listen, buddy. You can save yourself a lot of trouble. We made you a proposition which you refused, but in view of what happened since, maybe you've changed your mind. You mean that you and your crowd are responsible for that warehouse fire? Never mind that. I'm giving you one last chance to come in with us unconditionally. Yes, but I've got to know what your name is and what you propose to ship. You want to know too much. Look out for trouble. Careful, Jenks. I think he suspected something. Okay, thanks. Sentinel reporter following me. Get him. Follow him, Cato. Hey. Hey, what is this, a stick-up? That's another scoop for the Sentinel. Maybe not. I caught the license. Nice driving, Pete. You ditched him. Where to now? Max Gregory's off. Take him up by the freight elevator in the rear. And final negotiations with Roberts are now on their way. If all goes well, shipment of arms will go forward at once. That's all. Put it in code and get it off immediately. The private door, sir. That'll be Dean with the report on Roberts. Let him in. What is this? What have you got here? Sentinel man. Roberts had him planted to trail me. What did you bring him up here for? Well, no chance to get rid of him. And he knows too much to turn him loose. That means we've got to strike at that shipment of his tonight. Throw him in that closet. I'll have him taken care of later. At Clearwater Junction, you board the train. You'll get your final instructions from Monroe. Thanks for your cooperation. The traffic bureau gave you the name of the owner of the car that carried off Mr. Jenks? 
Yes, it's registered to a Max Gregory. Here it is. 311 Gardner Building. Mr. Gregory's going to be asked some questions tonight. By the Green Hornet. has again balked. The train carrying Robert's shipment will be boarded at Clearwater Junction at midnight tonight. Robert's cars and everything behind them will be uncoupled on the long grade west of Summit. That's all. Put it into code. Never mind the code. I'll take it as it is. The Green Hornet. Give it to me. Glad to see you, Honor. We've decided we could make good use of you in our organization if we can come to terms. I'll dictate the terms. And I'm taking over your organization. I know all about it. Even the Green Hornet might need help transporting secretly ammunition. Not from you, Gregory. All I want from you is the names of your associates. All right. You have the upper hand. I guess I have no other choice. Here's the list. Why did you ask for it? Another one, eh? What's your connection with this gang? I'm not one of this outfit. I'm after them. I'm a reporter from the Sentinel. The Sentinel, eh? That muckraking reform sheet. I suppose you're after the reward for the capture of the Hornet. Reward or no reward, the Sentinel's out to get you and the rest of the crooks in this town. Well, you keep me here, the rest of this gang's going out to wreck a train. And blame it on me, eh? Well, I'll take care of that. Phone the police. These men are wanted for munitions and gun running. And don't try to follow me. There she is. Board the caboose. No, 
you, George. 